All right, everyone. Today in this video, we're going to take a look at the server. We're going to hook it up to a monitor. I'm going to see exactly what's on it. Now, I haven't actually looked at this thing as far as booting it up goes. I just was interested enough into getting into the BIOS at work, seeing what the main hardware specs were of the processor and the RAM. Uh, I did look at the video card closer. It is a Radeon HD 6450. So it's not really all that impressive of a video card, but it is a fanless, low-profile card. So we might try to stick that into the HTPC. Um, depending on how this goes, what I end up deciding to use this for, um, this may end up being, becoming my video editing workstation. May or may not stay in the rack mount case that it's in. I don't know yet. If it does, I'm going to be disabling pretty much all those fans except maybe one fan not going to need it um, just because they're loud and uh, if not uh, gonna throw it in my thermal take uh, glass case and then those guts will go into my streaming PC and then from those those parts out of the streaming PC will go into my living room HTPC it's a whole swapping around of stuff we'll just see how this goes Compared to the 8350, maybe I'll just dump this into the streaming PC, although that would be kind of a waste. But anyway, let's go ahead and find out what's on this uh, computer. I'm kind of curious to see if we can tell what this was being used for. So let's go ahead and get a monitor plugged up and see what kind of happy horse shit we can get into today. Stop the clock if I get ripped off, will I give a fuck or not? Would it be too aggy? This is how I'm feeling. Beat you up, smack you from the floor to the ceiling. Stop, I'm in the hole, they shake that base weight, I don't want to get out of space. Did you have to win? That's what anybody does in the same stream. Why are you engaged? Stop that part of your waistline, honey. It's a real thing. Here comes the moment of truth. Hey, it still turns on. Look at that. It's interesting with this BIOS, it starts the Adaptec RAID BIOS before it actually gets to the post screen, which is opposite from the way I'm used to it. Oh, of course. Well, that's nice. There we go. Sometimes technology, modern technology, you just want to shoot it, you know. Definitely has Windows 7 on it, so. Great. Default password, okay. Let's see if I know what it is. Nope. Hard drives are going crazy though. 
All right, I'm gonna crack this bastard and we'll come back in just a minute. Okay, so after about the 15th or 20th reboot here in trying this, I think I finally got the effing thing cleared. Half the time this damn thing wouldn't uh, bring up the keyboard. So this was capturing the cameras, okay. That would explain it. <clears throat> that would explain why it's got Windows 7 on it and why it's got all the hardware. All the uh, hard drives, I mean, in it. This thing is pretty snappy, though. Very snappy. I like that. This thing was up just... Well, that would be today as I'm filming this, but that's not going to be right. I don't know when the last time this thing was actually up and running for a capturing video. Okay, so that is on the SSD. That's what we would expect. Wait a minute here. That looks like quite a bit of that's taken up. Yeah, wow. That's a lot of space taken up just for Windows and Chrome. There must be something else on here. At least web server. This stuff must be taking up some pretty good space. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, device manager here. I uh, did rename the computer here. Uh, 4790S, which we already looked at before. This turbo is up to 4 gigahertz, I think. 16 gig of RAM. Nice specs, nice specs. I do like that. I was actually looking at buying one of these processors not that long ago. But uh, they were way too expensive. I actually could probably sell this and make pretty good money on it. Got the integrated Intel graphics. Oh, this is a touchy, touchy, touchy touchpad here. And this is a quad core, but it's hyper threaded, so we see eight, eight threads there, or eight CPUs technically, but on according to Device Manager, but it's, it's eight threads. <clears throat> All right, well, nothing terribly remarkable to see in here. I'm, uh, I'm going to see if I can find if, if Supermicro has some kind of a software that will control the fan speed on this because this is way too loud for me. Um, being that this was a computer that captured security cameras, this has been on for a while. Um, but being that it's been in that server room this whole time, obviously that server room is very well filtered because there's very little dust. This thing's been sitting in there for about five years, four to five years. So it's very well filtered in there. I'm impressed with how little dust there is inside of here. I mean, there's nothing on the motherboard to speak of that's even noticeable. So that's impressive. So this will be a nice, uh, a nice workstation for me. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with it here. Uh, so I need to get it on the network. I might just throw Windows 10 on it here. I might throw Linux on it. I, I don't know. I should throw my Manjaro hard, hard drive in here and just see what happens. Because um, that still has my video editing stuff. But I'm kind of curious here. I've got to get it up, hooked up to the network. I'm curious to see what the Cinebench score is on this compared to the 8350 I've got now. And that'll tell me about whereabouts this thing's going to land for video editing because that actually ends up being pretty good for to be able to tell you know if you know how your current system works you'll be able to tell if what you've got is actually going to be a little bit faster or not that you're wanting to upgrade to is going to be a little bit faster or not so I don't know if this will be an upgrade or not quad core versus tr eight true cores those uh, FX's are obviously not as fast as the Intel so uh, it probably will be even even Steven but who knows? 
we will uh, we will find out, I guess. Okay, so eight is sixty four here. It was uh, yeah, it's going up to four gigahertz right there. All right, let's go. Maybe that is a twelve percent overclock. I haven't actually sat down to do the math. Let's just let this tell us what we're doing here. Looks like we're just hitting about 3600 there running the benchmark. So if I can get that baby clock up to a full 4 gigahertz, that'd be nice. <clears throat> 4 gigahertz on all cores, but uh, I am running this. It obviously still has the stock Intel cooler on it, so that may be causing some kind of a, uh, a hit on performance. Um, but let's see if the sensors detect CPU 145 Celsius. Yeah, maybe hitting a thermal thermal limit there. This will in, definitely involve some tweaking. I'll have to run Cinebench on the uh, FX here and see what it scores. Let's just do this test one more time here to get a nice line here. Well, you know what? I guess you close this because that's going to hit performance. Yeah, I want to stop it because you're going to be invalid. Okay, let's do this again real quick here. Seven twenty nine. Okay, so the forty seven seventy K according to this is a, is four point four gigahertz. I'm not sure if that's overclocked or if that's stock. I haven't really looked into that chip, but we'll we'll get this baby rocket up there. I think there's definitely some potential if I can get it overclocked a bit. All right, I'm gonna go test the FX and see what it scores. All right, as you can see that the uh, score of this chip was five eighty three. So, it'll be a little bit of an upgrade. I'll be curious to see what the real world upgrade is going to be like on this thing. But, uh, nevertheless, I think it'll be, uh, probably will run better anyway being an Intel chip. I don't know, though. I guess we'll find out how well Linux is optimized for AMD versus Intel. I'd kind of be interested to find out. But, we'll give it a test here. Why not? It'll make for a fun video, right? You know, normally when you see orange out the back of a server case, it's not really a good thing, but being that this is a gaming motherboard, hey, actually it's kind of cool. Not sure what that, that must be from the SCSI card, that red glow on there, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> any other kind of situation, that would be a very, very bad light coming out of the back of it. <laughs>